Hello. Hi. Kayla Lords. John Brownstone. Of Loving BDSM, where we help kingsters like you have happy, healthy power exchange relationships. We are back to answer another question. Uh, this one does come with a content warning. Um, there are very brief mentions of suicide, abusive behavior, and sexual coercion uh, within the question. No details are shared, um, but it might even come up in the conversation. So take care of yourself on this one. Okay, let's get into right. the question. Uh, I started going to munches and vendor fairs in late 2022 and moved on to play parties almost every weekend from January to June in 2023. I loved finally being able to go to these events and meeting like-minded people. I want to start going back to community events after leaving for financial and mental health reasons, but I'm facing an obstacle. There is this person who I will name Greg, not his real name, who I do not want to be around. At the beginning of my kink journey, I met him at a munch and at some play parties, and he ended up inviting me to a small local group that he was in charge of. It was a good time, and I met my dom at this event. Fast forward a few months, and Greg goes through a very public breakup on FetLife. His ex-partner exposes some information about him, including his manipulative, coercive, and destructive behavior. Some of his offenses include threatening to kill himself, forcing his ex-partner to keep important information from their family, punching holes in the walls, guilting them into having sex when they did not want to, and starting a relationship with someone barely 18 while he's almost 30. I was appalled when I heard this and they still post about each other on FetLife. Since I was not involved in their relationship, I have no way of knowing if all of this is true, but I am inclined to believe the victim. Anyway, since then it has come out that he is getting involved with the board of the local community and increasing his presence at all events, even in the smaller communities. He has tried to reach out to me twice and I have ignored both. How can I start going to events again when he seems to be everywhere? I do not want to run into him, but I know that is almost impossible. Wow. Mm. Yeah. That's, uh, that's tough. That is tough. And, um, Mm. You know, I'm not even sure how I would. I don't I, think there's an easy answer. There is that there isn't. You have this community that you want to be a part of again, and yeah. you know that air quote Greg is probably going to show up. It is either a try to find community outside of that area or mm -hmm. find a way to make peace with yourself with the fact that you are going to come across him now seeing him does not mean you have to interact True. um a couple of things come to mind and whether you do this or not depends on your comfort level uh, your own mental health because you've got to protect it and mm -hmm. what kind of person air quote greg is but one option is to just have a conversation with him you do have a history of knowing him and being around him and you can say look i saw what went down on fetlife i did not like what i saw my opinion of you has changed and I just don't want to be mm -hmm. a part of what you've got going on. Um, that one I would caution with how, how do you think, you know, right. He might react because some people get volatile and you don't need mm -hmm. to put yourself in that position. The other thing might be to talk to other community leaders of these events and munches and whatever else that are being organized and let them know about your discomfort if if they are the type of people you can talk to um and you know ask you know were they aware of what went down what mitigation have they put into place for mm -hmm. a person who may be a you know abusive coercive human being mm -hmm. um and you know those are imperfect i don't think there is a, a perfect solution no there isn't um i mean you know one of the things i i thought about too was you know it could start their own munch could you absolutely could do that you know mm -hmm. i mean that that would be one option you know and um you know but then again that you know that that's okay for them for a munch you know but then there's still the thing you know you want to do the parties you want to do the fair, different fairs and different things like that you know, I, part of it is it comes down to, do you feel unsafe? Because there is mm -hmm. a difference between being in a room with somebody and interacting with somebody. True. There will be times where maybe you are at the same event, 
because it's open to everybody in your community and it was something you wanted to attend, um, they're going to be in the same room. There is no requirement that you interact with that person. If somebody tries to encourage you to interact with that person, you can simply say, mm, no, that's, that's not a person I interact with. They'll take that information or leave it, but you don't have to justify yourself if you don't want yeah. to. Um, you know, if their ex-partner is somebody you are friends with, maybe talk to them and see how they're handling it. You know, if they have found a way to work within their own community and go to events and, you know, feel as safe as possible, mm -hmm. knowing that this person is around, maybe they have some advice for you. Maybe they have somebody you can talk to that they've talked to like, hey, I reached out to this community organizer and they had some good solutions for me. Now, that's a sensitive thing. They don't need to do labor on your behalf. But if you have a friendship of sorts, you know, you can check in and go, hey, can, can we talk about this? Um, but I think it depends on the events as well. If it's an open to everybody, it's a vendor fair. It's a big community meetup where you're talking 50, 60, 100 people. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I get not wanting to be around them, but there's as long as you feel safe, there is right. a difference between being around them and interacting with them. Mm -hmm. um, it's also possible that maybe you, you know, form, if you don't already have a closer group of a small core community that are your close friends mm -hmm. and y'all have play parties. People have play parties all the time and they do not invite everybody. Right. So maybe you, you know, need to make some connections with folks who maybe aren't fans of air quote Greg either. You know, yeah, true, true, true. You know, another thing I thought of in this, and I'll, I'll caveat it after I, I said what I, I'm about to say, you know, in some cases, uh, because I, I knew back in the community I was part of years ago, there was a person in the community who had some questionable behavior. And uh, the community leader actually um, allowed them to come to munches, wanted them to come to parties, because that way they could keep an eye on them you know, in case there were any, any problematic behavior. Um, you know, is, is that the case here? I don't know, it, you know, especially with the fact with, you know, talking about how he's uh, getting right? involved with the board, getting involved with the community. board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so that to me, that's a, that's a conversation. If you have connections to other people on mm -hmm. that local board about if they, if they know right. what they're thinking is, Unfortunately, sometimes you have that conversation and you find out that they know and they don't care. And then that's when you rethink your connection to that community. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're in um, an area where traveling to another community is feasible and is something you're willing to do, that is an option. Now, you are going to come across people with who do bad acts in any community. This one is yeah. different because you did have a personal connection and you, you know the details that were being shared and that, that, that makes a difference for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but I also don't want you to have to diminish your enjoyment and uh, interaction yeah. with the community f because somebody else is a bad actor. Um, so yeah, if any connections you have to local community members who are on a board, who organize a munch, who whatever, whatever, you know, if you can talk to them, that, that would be one of the things I definitely would do. Right. Again though, I think I think there's nothing wrong with telling air quote Greg that you saw what went down on Fet Life. You do not really want to have, you know, you don't have anything to do with them. Mm -hmm. If we happen to be at the same event, you're not going to interact. Yeah. Again, you have to feel safe to do that. But if you're the type of person who would have that kind of conversation, mm -hmm. you know, I, I don't think that would be a bad idea necessarily. Um, because, you know, presumably air quote, Greg is trying to sort of tap into your former relationship. Um, I, I don't mean relationship like intimate, but like you yeah. knew each other, mm -hmm. um, you know, and if you feel safe enough doing it, because who knows if you, people in your community are giving it to him straight and saying, you fucked up and you've got to, you know, earn trust back in community and, yeah. and you've got to prove yourself and I don't have to be here watching you go through that. And, you know, mm -hmm. I can still distance myself, you know, have people said that to him? I don't know. Um, that's another reason I would say talk to other community members who yeah. are in leadership positions and, and get their 
take on it. Mm -hmm. If you walk away from those conversations going, they do not care and they are not worried about the safety of other people and they're just going to let him do whatever, then yeah, start your own munch, yeah. find your inner core community mm -hmm. to plan events with, travel if that's an option. Uh, right. It's not fair. You shouldn't have to do that. Right. No. But, but sometimes communities do not, yeah. you know, do not do what they can, which mm -hmm. is limited to deal with, yeah. you know. And and in the end, what way. it comes down to, your well-being, your mental health is what is important. Right. Right. Um, but, yeah, I think we do get, you know, a little unnerved at knowing we're going to have to be around somebody that we really don't like. We don't agree mm -hmm. with what they've done. We worry they may be a danger. Um, and being in the same room is not the same as interacting with. True, true. So where that feels like it's possible for you, mm -hmm. you know, take advantage of that. The bigger events, the events where it's not really about talking to everybody you come in contact with. Uh, right. Events where you can be a, across a room from somebody or in another room and st those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. um, but if you have a personal connection to their ex and they are willing to talk about it, right. that might be a person to, to talk to about mm -hmm. how they're doing and if they are coming out into the community and what they might be doing. But again, that's a touchy one because you don't want to pry and you don't want to push yeah. somebody to give you information. It, it's, we, it's, mm -hmm. it's touchy. So that's, that's the only thing I can think, you know, if you want to be involved in this community and this is all you've got access to, then you're going to have to find a way to navigate around knowing True. more about somebody than you might know about the person you're sitting next to. That's the other thing. Not everybody has their dirty laundry aired on FetLife where we can all witness it. Mm -hmm. And they're still going through not dissimilar things. So you, you got to weigh yeah. your own comfort there, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Anything you would add? I, I don't think so. Yeah. That, I, I feel bad for them. Yeah. I, I mean, hell, I feel bad for their ex, especially if they're trying to be in the community. Like yeah. it's... And then I, I feel bad for everybody if community leaders are disregarding some of the problems mm -hmm. or not doing anything to attempt to address it. And True. who knows what's going on? So maybe if you can get a little bit more information. Um, this is one of those where I would lean heavily on anybody who can uh, hear the sound of our voices <laughs> um, to say if you have been in a situation like this. Um, feel free to comment wherever we are connected, mm -hmm. YouTube comments, the show notes page on our website has a comment section, social media, and share what how you've handled things like that right. or how your community, community has handled, handled things like that. Because yeah. we can all learn from one another. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, that was kind of a heavy one this yeah. week. Um, I, don't, I don't have Ooh. it in me to be super, super silly, so I'll just say if you enjoyed this. Uh, yeah. We love a thumbs up. If you like it enough, you want to come back for more, please uh, consider subscribing. And and go ahead and ring the notification bell to get updates and new content. Just do what Daddy says. And if you really like what we do, want to help us do more of it and get extra content and access to a Discord server, you're not going to get any other way with us. You can join us on Patreon, patreon.com slash Lords, or the link is below.